Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how I achieved a retwist with just using rubber bands. <laughs> so I'm starting here with freshly washed hair. I did moisturize the length of my locks with the Alake Naturals Lemongrass Leave-In Conditioning Spray. And then I moisturized my roots with the peppermint oil. All throughout this retwisting process, you will see me go ahead and re-moisturize my roots again with the peppermint oil, um, just so that I get that nice slip and that so that I get, you know, a good retwist um, style out of this. Okay, so I'm starting at the back after having sectioned my hair in four, and I'm starting with at least three locks. And I'm twisting downward clockwise, clockwise, yeah, clockwise, like I normally do, gathering a few, and then putting a rubber band at the base. This rubber band helps the twist to stay together, taut, and um, yeah, I, I've come to find out that it actually works, just like when I use my regular clips. So as I continue to um, retwist that whole entire area on um, that section I continue to put it right into the same rubber band the same black rubber band um, I know a lot of people have problems and issues using rubber bands um, if you're not comfortable using them then I really wouldn't recommend you retwisting with them rather use a clip or try the method where you don't use them at all um, in some parts of this video you will see that I will twirl the, the root up a little bit just so that oh just like this right here just so that it would stay together so that the retwist would would stay because some parts of my hair have a problem holding it without that extra um, that extra that extra tug I guess you could say so this is something else that you can do. You can twirl it once or twice and then add it into the rubber band. This method is especially great for you, like say if you're traveling and you realize, oh my gosh, I don't have my, my retwisting clips. All you have to do is just find maybe four rubber bands, <laughs> if you can, uh, four rubber bands and um, and just start with a, a spray bottle of course misting your roots and if you want to use oils at the base of your hair fine some people use water only um, I hear I, as you can see here I use peppermint oil um, I tend to alternate between peppermint oil and other oils I used to use grease but I'm all finished with that grease so I'm not sure if I want to restock on it or try something different, I do have an itch to try something different. I've been looking around and I, you know, at one point I was looking, then I kind of settled for these oils, but I'm going to continue trying to find a, a retwisting gel or something that will help my hair hold up a little bit longer. Um, I mean, even though it, for me, it probably doesn't even make sense because of the fact that I wash my hair every other week. My retwists are not going to last that long anyway, so, and I don't have a problem with that. Um, if you follow me, if you've been following me this far, you know that my goal is not to have super neat locks, like not to have a super neat manicured polished look. That's not me. I just want my hair to... Um, grow in the right areas and I don't want a, a super manicured look but I do want neatness at the root if that makes sense um, yeah comment down below if you are interested in super manicured locks if you don't care um, what is your preference because we all have different preferences okay so now I am continuing on the other side of my head and of course that area right there always needs a little twirl because if not it comes out automatically <laughs> it automatically unravels and then I have to do it again 
But as you can see, if you um, look at some of my other locks that I have retwisted already, you can see that the rubber band method is actually helping to hold up some of my locks. And um, yeah, I'm amazed. So I continue to do this and add to um, a different rubber band on the other side. Like I said before, I sectioned my hair in four, so I will be using four rubber bands, but you can use as many as you feel comfortable. Some people don't feel comfortable using only four because, you know, it's a, a tight rubber band and you don't want to have any type of thinning issues. If, if that's you, then I would suggest using more. If you, if you find more rubber bands, or if you have a, a if you have those stretchable rubber bands that are a little bit larger, you can get away with maybe using just two. <laughs> but me, I can't find those. I don't have them at all. So yeah. I do have um, some videos where I show you how to retwist at home if you are a beginner. Because I understand that I have an audience of, you know, we're, we're all on different levels. Some of us have just started our lock journey and some of us have been you know in the game for a while but i know some of you guys um don't exactly know how to do this and you're having a really really hard time i have a few videos that i will um add in the description box to help you to save yourself some money because if you go to a, a professional hairstylist it's great they do an excellent job i love the professionals and the work that they do but it is a little bit costly <laughs> you would be spending up to hundreds of dollars getting a retwist it's something that you can easily do at home so um, I have a few videos that will show you how to save yourself hundreds of dollars with just a little time and few tools like you can use this rubber band method you can use clips you don't have to use any tools at all actually um it's really easy once you get the hang of it um but you do have to take some time and at least try me personally i've never um gotten my hair professionally retwisted i've always done it myself so the very first time that i i did a retwist it took me like all day oh as you can see here <laughs> a little intermission I'm using a different oil because the peppermint oil is kind of um, going out on me so <laughs> I'm using my my husband's argan oil uh, and he happens to be hearing me do this voiceover as well but <laughs> this oil smells really really good um, so I you know I'll, I'll fine I'll try to look for this oil and also plug it down below so that you guys can try it as well because it smells really good and it makes it easier especially when you just need something to just go squirt and go it's really really simple and so convenient but yeah um, I've always retwisted my hair myself so the very first day that I did it took me like almost all day and it was so frustrating I almost gave up but I, I stuck in there I you know put on some movies tried to stay as neat as possible use as many mirrors as possible and I got through it and then the next um, time that I retwisted for the second time it I think I it took like a few hours so it's just like riding a bike try it out yourself um, even if you're not the type that that does this I think everyone should know how to do this for themselves, especially in the times that we're in. Um, just in case some of these salons are not available to us, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Are you going to sit at home and wait for a professional or someone else to do it? Like, it's so easy. There's so many videos here on YouTube, in addition to some of mine, that will help you. So yeah, at this point, I could have done it a lot um, more neater. I feel like that side of my head looks less neat than the other side. Um, but you can do it as tight as you, well, no, you shouldn't do it tight. You should not retwist tight. 
um, try to be as slack as you can just so that you're not pulling on your your roots of course but um, I could have probably used a little bit more product or maybe even a little tiny bit of edge control. Um, I tend to do that at times just to have like that neat polished look. Uh, sometimes I want that polished look and sometimes I really don't even care. Um, but for now, I guess health is, is more important. If you've been following me, you can see that my hair has not been locking at all. And it's because my body is not releasing any shed hairs um, while pregnant because of these hormones. If you're in my boat, <laughs> you're in good company, I guess. <laughs> but um, I guess the, the, the best thing that you can do while your hair is still not locking is just to nourish it and protect the roots and make sure that you're moisturizing and stuff like that because um, I'm very impressed to see some of these clips that my my new growth looks really, really good and healthy. My roots look really nice and strong. It's just not blocking. <laughs> but I'll be patient. I'll be patient with it. If you um, checked out my last video, I mentioned to you that I've just decided to go ahead and embrace what my body is doing and stop being so selfish <laughs> because my body is helping the more important human right now and it's not me it's my baby boy i can do a little i can have a retwist later um I, my my greatest concern though is what my postpartum hair will look like when my hair finally does start to shed like what would that look like on my locks i guess we just have to wait and see i definitely will be recording that journey with you all <laughs> but if you're interested in other pregnancy updates or what my life is like now as um, I'm preparing to be someone's mom <laughs> you can go ahead and check out my second channel I um, upload so much more on there um, having you know concerning pregnancy and life and vlogs and stuff like that and um, also some struggles that I've had while being pregnant. So anyway, here we go. Oh, I have one, two, three, four. Okay, four sections here. Not the most perfect sections, but hey. <laughs> and um, I did it like that up top so that I can have my middle part. You can do just what you want to do as far as sectioning your hair. Um, but this is what it looks like. And I keep it in for a few hours and then take them out. I have retwisted hair just like as if I used my clips. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, let me know if you've tried this down below or if you are interested in trying it. And what is your favorite way to retwist your hair? I would love to know. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Later guys. Bye.